If you teach two sections of the same course, it can be helpful to cross-list the courses in Canvas. And you can cross-list any courses. They don't have to be the same department code. It's always best to do this when the course is unpublished and preferably before you begin making any edits to the course. So for example, I have two of the same EDU 505 class. What you need to decide is which is going to be the parent course. Um, it doesn't actually matter, you just sort of have to pick one. So if I select this one, every course in Canvas has a unique ID number, and I just need to note that number. So if I look up here, this ID number is 23123. So I can copy this, or I can just write it down, but I'm going to need that number. So this will be my parent course. When I go back into my other course by clicking on my dashboard and opening the class I want to cross list, I'll select it. You cross list it under settings, which is at the very bottom of the list here. Select the sections tab. Click on the course name. And then click cross list this section off to the right. It's much easier to put in the course's ID number, so you can just paste that number, or if you remembered it, you can uh, just put it in there. It's going to say this is the course you selected. Make sure that's correct. Uh, if everything looks good, you can go ahead and say cross list this section. You'll get the screen banner up here that says that the section was successfully cross-listed. And when you come back to your dashboard, you may need to refresh it, um, but you should notice that you only have one tile now for that course. And when you click on it to open it and you navigate to people, you can always tell who was originally in which section uh, by noticing the sections tab over here. So the A section and then um, the A2 section or whatever the case may be for this course. If you make a mistake, that's okay. You can come back to settings. Come back to the Sections tab, click on the one that you want to decross list, so I'll pick this one to open it, and then just say decross list this section, make sure, and you can just say decross list. And this splits them back up, so when you go back to your dashboard, I'd have to refresh, you'll see that you still have both courses there.